can see the chat now, thank goodness. Uh, welcome, my name is Kathy Kersnowski. I'm here from Novel Effect and uh, we'll take a moment to introduce ourselves in just a second. But while we settle down and you all start to join us, we have something fun for you to do. There is a virtual sticker board that you can do together. Thanks to our friends at Stick Together, it's super, super fun. Shannon and Brianna have put the bit.ly on the screen right now, so you should be able to see that. Remember, a bit.ly is case sensitive, so it's bit.ly slash, and then you'll see it's all capital, capital S-T-W-E-B number one. So on a different device or on a different tab, why don't you hop over and start to populate that virtual sticker board. So good to see where everybody's from. Macedonia. Hello, Macedonia. <laughs> Some of my Iowa friends are here, which is great. I love it. And Bree made the sticker board today. Didn't even tell me what it was, so I can't wait to see what we reveal. And if you have never done a virtual sticker board before, um, you probably realize if you have went to that bit.ly and you're in there that everybody is working together and collaborating just like our kids would at school. And so it's really neat to see like as you reveal that mystery image and you're collaborating and working together, just like how you could if you were starting the day or if you were using it like as a bell ringer, like this is a great example as we get ready for the webinar, how you can use it in your classroom or your library too. And there are well, tons, should... tons of funds for grown-ups too. Sometimes I just share them with my teacher colleagues and I ask them to join us a virtual stick together board uh, with me when they need a brain break, which, you know, our educator friends need brain breaks as much as the kids do. I love it. Oh, somebody's asking already, how could I make my own virtual sticker board? Are they free? I have a feeling we'll answer that question at some point. Yay. Well, Kathy, I'm going to let you kick it off today. All right. So while you're working on that another screen and you're still listening to us, or maybe you're not working on that and you're just watching the webinar, hello and welcome. My name is Kathy Kersnowski. I work for Novel Effect. I'm the Community Connections cheerleader there. And tonight we are so excited because we have a partnership with our good friends at Stick Together. It's a perfect partnership. Two things that work beautifully together, peanut butter and chocolate, peas and carrots, peanut butter and jelly, uh, Novel Effect and Stick Together. So here we are all together tonight to celebrate both platforms and give you innovative and creative ways and lots of stories and things um, that you can use to take these ideas back to your classrooms, your libraries, or wherever it is that you work to, uh, to amaze and delight your little learners and, and maybe even your colleagues. And I will, on the next slide, I think we have a chance to each introduce ourselves. So Shannon, take it away. My name is Shannon McClintock Miller. I am a teacher librarian in Van Meter, Iowa. I also work with Future Ready Schools and with Stick Together and Capstone and lots of schools and organizations around the country speaking and helping others. So I'm really excited to be here with Kathy and also with Brianna. And I'm next in the lineup. So my name is Kathy Kersnowski. Yes, I am. I work for Novel Effect as the Community Connections Cheerleader. So I build community and do webinars and things like that. And I love that job. That is um, part time for me because on this, that's my side gig. But my other side gig is that I work in a public school full time as a technology integration specialist or a tech coach. So I'm still very much in schools working with teachers and students predominantly at the elementary level. And we love stick together where I am too. So let me hand it over to Brianna. Hi, my name is Brianna Kiwa. Um, I work with Stick Together. I'm their director of digital marketing and brand communications. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so a couple of things with this webinar. First of all, we're so glad you joined us. We're really honored and touched and we hope you have lots of great things to take away. We just wanna do a couple of housekeeping things in the beginning. First of all, uh, whenever I host a Novel Effect webinar, one of the things that we love to do is to start with giveaways. So we've got a hashtag challenge there for you. It's hashtag Novel Effect webinar. 
if at any time during this webinar, as many times as you would like, you take screenshots of things that are happening and post them to your social media channel of choice using that hashtag, my friends at Novel Effect will be scouring the internet and all the socials to look for people who are posting that and they will randomly choose one winner who has posted a screenshot with that hashtag uh, by midnight PST tonight to win a, a subscription, a one year premium subscription to Novel Effect. So that's a, a starter giveaway. I also just wanted to let you know that um, we have Q&A and we have the chat. Please be putting your questions in the chat over there so that they're for everyone. We have friends from Novel Effect and we have friends from Stick Together behind the scenes who are over there ready to answer your questions. So you'll see that it's not just us answering questions, but we've got friends from both companies there who can answer your questions in real time as they come through. Also wanted to let everybody know there, yep, this is being recorded. And tomorrow, everybody who registered, whether you attended live or not, you will receive a recording of this webinar along with a link to this entire slide deck. So you don't have to go crazy taking notes and copying down links. Um, you'll have access to those. They will all be emailed to you tomorrow. We do have some prize giveaways sprinkled throughout this presentation, throughout this webinar today. So stay tuned. They come at the beginning, throughout the middle, and again at the end. So stay with us until the end. And also at the end, there will be um, a short form, a link a bit.ly to a short form. If you fill out the feedback form that we give you, you'll automatically get a professional development certificate that you can use. So it's valid for one hour of, of PD on this webinar. So we just wanted to start with some, some giveaways and some big news. And uh, just a reminder to stick with us until the end. All right. So I'm from Novel Effects, so I'll start with a little Novel Effect magic. So now if, you ha if you're here because you know Stick Together, but you've not yet heard of Novel Effect or you haven't experienced it, it is magical. It's an app that adds music, sound effects, character voices, um, whizzes and whirs and knocks and animal sounds and all kinds of things in real time with your voice as you read children's books, which you're doing anyway. And probably most of you are making those sounds with your own mouths or with things that you have around you, you know, knocking on the doors. Novel Effect is the app that's voice activated that does that as you're reading stories aloud anyway. If you haven't experienced it, buckle up your seatbelts because we're going to experience it in just a minute as I read a little bit of a story to you shortly. On the next slide, thank you, Sh Shannon's controlling the slides. On the next slide, um, it shows pretty much how it works. It's super simple, no PD really required. You choose any book from your library shelves, from your classroom, from your school library. These are books that you know and love. And then you're just going to go into the Novel Effect app, search for that book title to see if we have it in there. We have many. We have uh, we have over a thousand, I think it's about 1,200 now. And once you hear a little chime sound play in the app, it's, it's basically ready to listen to you. So you can take your phone, set it down. You don't have to do anything else with the technology. The app will just listen to you as you read and it'll do the soundscape magic for you. On the next slide is a little video that explains exactly how it works. And this is all the PD you need in 30 seconds. Hmm, just a second here. Author or keyword into the search bar at the top of the app. Then tap on your book in the list of search results. If you want to read from a print copy of the book that you have on hand, tap print. Or if you don't have a physical copy with you, you can tap on ebook to read the ebook version right in the app. When you hear the startup chime, it's time to read aloud. So while that was going on, yeah, you know it, I brought up, um, I brought up on my phone, I brought up a book that I have here that I love and I read it to a class yesterday. So it's front of mind for me. We're going to do a quick demo of Novel Effect. Shannon, if you could stop sharing the screen for a sec. I'm just, thank you so much. I'm just get, I'm going to do a little bit of a read aloud. I've got the book app and open on my phone in my app and I'm going to read The Couch Potato by Jory John because it's just adorable and the kids cracked up all day at it yesterday and I thought you might enjoy it as well. So I've, I've clicked that little uh, button and I've heard the chime already. Here's the couch potato and I hope that you enjoy. Oops, just set up here. The couch potato by Joy John. Such a cute book. I am a potato. Hi there. Not a small potato like my brother. Who are you calling? 
all in small fries. Not a sweet potato like my mother. Hi, sweetie. And not a mashed potato like my Uncle Stu. Yes, you see, child, in my day, we would begin with a nice warm bath. I am a couch potato. Oh, yeah, it's true. My favorite place to slouch is on the couch. I spend all my free time sitting in this exact spot. Um, I could live on this couch. And the cool thing about Novel Effect is even if I stopped and I paused here and I talked to somebody maybe who came to the door or I started to talk to the children about some comprehension questions or anything, it waits for me. It's really voice activated. The words that I say trigger these sound effects. So I'll continue for a couple more pages. See. I have this, and this, and this, and one of these, and those, and this, and that, and these, and, oh, and this. Check it out. This button activates a gadget that teaches, or that feeds me snacks whenever I want. Whoa, impressed? And I don't have to move an inch. Much easier than going to the kitchen. If the most important thing in life is to be comfortable at all times, then I think I've got it all figured out. Ah, but wait, there's more. I haven't revealed the absolute best part about my whole setup. up there so that we have time for everything else but you get the idea there's music there's character sounds there's voices that come at just the right time and the students I read it in a second grade classroom yesterday and they were cracking up it delights everyone every time I show it to a grown-up a librarian a teacher a colleague anybody on a webinar it's just giggles ensue and lots of lots of happiness happens so that's that's novel effect in a nutshell that's what it can do I really wanted you to read the, the whole thing. I was really enjoying that. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. And that one is one of probably our kids like new favorite ones. Um, and so it, it's just so good. I love it. We've got like a thousand books in there. And I know that we've got several of the Jory Johns. They're, they're hugely popular. And a lot of the Peter Reynolds titles and some of the Capstone books. And oh gosh, there's just so many, so many great books. And they're beloved ones. They're ones that we all know and love. Yeah, so exciting. Well, we're really excited too to come together today, you know, not just to only hear about all the amazing things that Novel Effect can bring us, but I think one of the greatest things in Kathy and I within our roles in schools, think about this all the time on how you can take two things or more than two things and smash them together to make great things happen at schools or within classrooms and libraries. And one of my favorite things to use also with Novel Effect is Stick Together. And when we think about Stick Together and Novel Effect, and if you're a librarian or if you're a teacher or another role within a school is really using these to bring storytelling to life for kids and making those connections. And so we're going to go through just some of the ideas from Stick Together and on their website. I love their new website. Breve done a great job with this because it's so easy to find all the amazing resources. And we're going to go through and just start with the sticker poster kits. And I'm sure that you have seen these before where you take the little stickers and kids can then put them on the grid to make these amazing images. And these are some pictures from my kids at Van Meter. You can see that from your youngest ones all the way up to your older kids, they absolutely love doing the sticker posters. I love the picture way on the right of the two little ones with the stickers all over the floor because when we tried it out with our kindergartners, we all wondered what they would think. And as you can see from this picture, they absolutely loved it. 
Now, one of my favorite new series of stick together posters are the Eric Carl ones. And when you go to that link, you can see all six of them. But what we've done at Van Meter is making sure that when we use these in the classroom or in the library, that we're integrating them, them with the great Eric Carl books. And this, anybody guess which this one is? Can you guess by looking at it? It's almost finished and it is the bear. Absolutely love this. And so what I have done is put together choice boards also when you use these with your kids to extend that learning. And these are open for everyone to use. I'll show you where you can get to the blog post in them. If you have Pebble Go, you can just add your own link and then you can share these with your kids too. And even put in like a little thing on what do you think the sticker poster is going to be. You can put in pixel art, like any kind of activity that you want to, then to extend that learning. And then we would just hang it up right by then those posters that we have. The same with the Very Hungry Caterpillar. We have had this, you know, not only the Caterpillar, but also the Butterfly is probably my favorite stick together poster that they have with Eric Carl. And I love this because our kids they all know the Very Hungry Caterpillar and love this one. And I was so excited to find the Very Hungry Caterpillar in Novel Effect. Last year when this came up, this was something that I showed my teachers right away, especially in the springtime when we're talking about insects and caterpillars and butterflies. It's super well um, received by our kids and by our teachers then to integrate that into our classrooms and our library. And also one thing that I think is so neat, Kathy, that Novel Effect now is doing are these calendars. And when we look at the Reader Loud calendar, it gives us ideas on events that are coming up, um, things that, you know, if it's springtime or a holiday, whatever it might be, and we can see then what Novel Effect book might fit with that special theme that's going on. And so you can see that the Very Hungry Caterpillar is coming up in April. And so I, I really love that. If you're looking for those two choice boards, you can find them here in the blog post, either to use or also just to make a copy. Um, one thing too that I really try to pay attention to when teachers are asking for things, like maybe they have something really special in their classrooms coming up or we're getting ready to celebrate a holiday. And right now in our first grade classrooms, they do a big unit around owls in the springtime. And so I put together this choice board where they could go to Pebble Go or Capstone Interactive Books, maybe watch like a video on a live cam of an owl and then getting them all the poster. This is actually a stick together um, sticker poster that then we can have in their classroom that they're working on as they're doing their owl unit and love owl moon this is a new one just a couple months ago that is a really great novel effect too i have to mention too when i show these pictures from novel effect these activity plans are amazing and when you first go to them you know there's lots of sites and places that you can get activity plans but they have done such a great job of making sure that these are things that our teachers and librarians, and if it's STEM, whatever you're doing within your school, that you'll find a way to use these with your kids as well. And also Earth Day. I had to throw this one in here. This was one we did last year. Um, Earth Day is coming up, of course, in April. This is another one that you can use too with your kids. Lots of really fun things. And then Stick Together is great to partner up with some of these amazing soundscapes and novel effect. I love all of these books and they've added a few new ones this year and then pair them up with the sticker posters. So next we get to the virtual sticker boards and this is what we did in the beginning. These are free for everyone to use and it is so fun. If you have never used this with your class before, I want to show you what it looks like. And this is actually at Van Meter in a second grade and a third grade classroom. And we had this one specially made of two of our teachers. And I wanna show you the reaction of the kids. I actually think I have to unplug my monitor again, just to show you, you gotta hear the sound.
You guys, oh, you guys oh figured God. it out? Oh, they. It's, And I think one of the neat things too about that is that activity probably took about five minutes for them to do. And so again, great activity to like kick off the day or just something if you want like a brain break. And it was really fun because you don't even have to be in the same classroom. It can be something that your whole school do, does together or maybe the classroom across the hallway or even another school and friend like in another place. It could be halfway around the world and you could do it together. And so one thing that is very helpful to use that Stick Together has started, I think this is coming up on the third month, is they're putting together also a calendar that shows what posters then, what virtual posters would fit into those special days. And so you can get to this gallery then within the virtual sticker boards and see all of the special posters for those days. And so like we've had the first day of spring, um, we have some holidays coming up and then you can use those and get to them really easy. With Ramadan, um, so, you know, starting their celebrations tomorrow um, for a month into April to the 21st, I put together a choice board with Pebble Go and Pebble Go Next and some books and activities. But one thing I'm really excited about is that they now have some virtual sticker boards. So I pulled one out and I'll have to keep an eye on this because as they work on this virtual sticker board together at Van Meter, once they get done with it, I can just put another one in the choice board that then they can work on again. So I think there were four, right, Brie, that you have that are up there. There are three and then our fourth is released next Tuesday. Oh, awesome. And so we have four that we could then change out and then the kids could work on those throughout the month. And so these are three of them. And that's exciting. One is released next week. And so as you know, from doing this at the beginning, the kids would be able to work on this together and you can even set how many stickers they do. So I set it to 10 stickers that they can then put on there. So then they wouldn't complete it all like in one setting because we have some kids that would probably work on this all day long. So I put it up to 10 so then they can work on that each day. And then another thing I'm going to talk about in a few minutes is I put an activity on here as well for them to just use the pixel art site to create a lantern. And so I'm excited to see what our kids create with that too. But when we're thinking about pixel art and, you know, this is something too, that we see like our kids, not only creating with the stickers, but I love it when they can take what they're doing with their hands and then transfer it to something that they can do online themselves. And with pixel art, they can create anything that they want to individually. So this is all about them. And this is another thing that is totally free from stick together. And as you can see from these pictures, they are creating little smaller, like page um, sized sticker posters. And so when we kicked this off with our kids at Van Meter, my teachers came to me and we were getting ready to wrap up a lesson like around plants and flowers, a unit that they were doing in science. And so I found the book. Um, I actually brought it with me today, Miguel's Community Garden, and paired it up up with Pebble Go and some Capstone Interactive books. And then the kids, they all went to the site after they drew what they wanted to with their um, idea of how they were going to contribute to the community garden that we were actually gonna make with the pixel art program. And so after drawing the picture, they went into pixel art and they made then a flower or maybe some of them made like a vegetable or a fruit. And once you have that done, you then can generate a PDF of either 
the just the page and maybe it has all the pixels in and you print it off in color but what we did is we printed them all off for the kids and we use then the stickers that they would use on the big posters to sticker their individual posters to make their piece of the community garden now a little tip our kids use chromebooks and so i you know brainstormed in the beginning like how was i going to get like that pdf off of their chromebook and be able to print it then so they could use it. And so I use this tip for a lot of things. I just make a Padlet. I share that Padlet then in their Google Classroom. And then I teach the kids how to use that Padlet and then just upload that PDF right onto the Padlet and put their name. And so it makes it super easy, not just for stick together posters for the pixel art, but for a lot of things that you do, you can use Padlet in that way. And so then at the end, you can, I would just go to the office and print them all off. And so then they would have them. And it was really easy then to know like which ones that they were and to make sure that the kids had what they needed. Um, another little thing that when we were thinking about this project again, um, I love this because, and I'll show you this in a second, now they even have their name at the bottom. And so it automatically adds their name at the bottom of that grid. So when we did this project using only only one you. I love this book because the illustrator has taken rocks and actually painted like the little fish on them. And so our kids, they created then their own fish in pixel art. And the same thing, we generated that PDF, put it onto a Padlet. But one thing we always make sure that we do now is we make sure that they put the plain one that they have to sticker and also that colored one, just in case something happens, we wanna make sure they're both there. And it's nice because we could even print it off for them to take home too, or use it in something that maybe that they were going to make online. So you can see at the bottom that it now puts their name there. So that makes it really easy when you're printing it off. And I love this because our kids not only stickered, you know, their posters and we put them up, but because we had then those two images, we had the plain one and the one that was colored, they actually took the image and they made fish stories. And then they used that illustration right inside of their fish story. And we hung them up in this great display in Mrs. Ferguson's second grade classroom. And so this was a really neat project to see how you can bring storytelling to life with that tool. And then a great one, Todd Parry always has Be Who You Are Day. And I love this one because our kids made their self-portrait. Oh, you have it. I love it. And that is one of my favorite novel effect ones. And we use that. And it was so neat because Todd always like has like a special like Zoom or something where he shares. But it is so neat to see like how much kids love his books like all year long. And I love this because our kids did such a great job at creating their own little like portrait. They're just so cute. And again, we added them to a Padlet and the teachers then use their sticker posters. But it was so neat to see how the teachers did it differently in every one of our second grade classrooms. This one, they, they put them up and then the kids wrote character traits around the outside. And so I thought that was really neat because every student had a chance to go around to their classmates and write something that they liked about their classmate um, on a character trait around that. And then one more is Todd Parr's Thankful book. And we also used, I love this book, Thankful, where she makes a paper chain, really cool book. But we did this one with first grade. And this is another little tip when you're doing pixel art is we wanted to give them a place where they could practice doing it. And so I just printed this off on a piece of paper. We gave it then to the kids and they first did their portrait on that grid on the paper. So then when they went into the pixel art site, they had something that they could use as a little map 
to be able to be successful at that when they were making their portrait. And once they were all finished, then we did the same thing where we took their picture and we downloaded it, put it onto a Padlet. And then it was so neat because we put them on a big piece of paper. The first graders then tied in that storytelling of saying what they were thankful for, tying into the two books that we used. But then my favorite part of this is we took every one of them and we made a giant like mosaic of their pictures and it was so beautiful. But if you look at these, Brie and I always like smile at these because there are some that are just amazing. Like the little girl that's riding the giraffe and like the things that they did picking a flower and the detail that they put into this is really pretty amazing. And these are first graders. And so that's something that we just love. But when you are thinking about using this with your kids, it's great now because we always love to use like our leftover stickers with this project and tie it into then the pixel art class pack that you can get too. So you can get this off of their site and it comes with a lot of stickers. And so what we usually do is like cut them into strips or into like small squares and either put them in like little containers or out on the table or baggies, like some way that you can organize them so your kids then can get to it really easy as well. I wanted to put the link in here too. If you just want to try it out, you can go to that site and you can try it out too. But just a few resources as you're thinking about using these two things together. Last night when I was looking around on the Novel Effects site, they do such a great job of getting us things that we need throughout the month, just like Stick Together does. And so they have the April read alouds up and they have that little calendar that I shared earlier. Stick Together also is going to release the April calendar on March 28th. So I can't wait to see all the special images that they have coming up for the virtual sticker posters that we can use. And then last week, or maybe the week before, these are so great because Brianna created these for all of us to use wherever we use stick together within our libraries and classrooms and our school communities. And so you go to this link and if you haven't signed up before for their newsletter, then this applies to you and you can then get all of these posters. Brie, how do they get them if they haven't signed up, if they have signed up for the newsletter, if they already get it? Um, we've been sending them out just in our like normal mailing. So you should have them. I think that they went out in today's mailing. Awesome. Yes. And they're so cool because they're really neat when you print them off. I just printed them off. I laminated them. And now we have been putting them up with our sticker posters. And so it's a really neat way, you know, not only to show like how they work, but just to add a little something where you're putting your sticker um, posters up within your school community too. We have two webinars coming up on um, April 11th and May 2nd. More information coming really soon. And then I was so excited today to hear from Sylvia, who is the creator and founder of Stick Together. She's amazing. And she's going to start having a Stick Together studio time. The first one is going to be May 28th at 6 p.m. Eastern. And so you can find the information here and also join the Facebook group at that link below. And one other thing before I give it back to Kathy that I wanted to share, one, one of the neatest things that we added this year to our school is our novel effect pop-up library. And this is right outside of our library. And it is a place that we have been tagging like all of our books that have novel effect in them. And we just put the little sticker on the front. So then our teachers and our kids know that that is a novel effect book. I make a poster, I put it in a holder, and then I send this out to my teachers. I make sure that they have like the printed poster in their classroom. And I have heard so many things from my teachers this year about this is one of the best things that they have ever 
had in their classrooms. And so you can find the blog post and the templates in the slide. And like everything that I shared, the choice boards, if it's an idea or project, you can find the links then to blog post in the slide too, that will go to my blog and to all the resources that you need to do this within your school too. Woo, that was exciting. So before I even talk about what's on this slide, I saw somebody come in and say, Novel Effect stickers, where do we get those? So my friend Haley from Novel Effect, her name comes up as Novel Effect Haley in the chat. She just dropped in a link for that. Yes, Novel Effect has started selling stickers so that you can buy stickers. I my office as a tech coach my office happens to be in the back of an elementary school library and my librarian so i'm really close to all of my librarians in the district those are my people and a lot of them have started putting their novel effect books all in one section so pulling them out of dewey and they're just kind of giving them their own shelf or their own section or their own uh, display, but also making sure to put the novel effect stickers on the front covers of all those books so that when teachers come in, or often we'll have students come in because their parents are using novel effect at home too, and they'll say, can I have one of those magic books? Can I get one of those? And it's just nice, a great way to easily identify those books. And that's a pretty, that's a pretty fun thing too. So, yep. That's, uh, I think it's becoming more and more popular with teachers. I have one teacher who just honestly, she's a third grade classroom teacher. She has a milk crate and it's the milk crate of novel effect books and the kids know that they can go there. So when it's their birthday or a special day, she'll say, hey, go over and pick out one of those novel effect books and bring it over. And um, it's in the milk crate and it's stickered. So that's how she uses it. So uh, I want to talk about this slide because I, I know Shannon just shared a gazillion different ideas for novel effect books. And like I said, we have over a thousand. I think we have about 1200 of them now actually and I'll show you where you can find a list of those in just a minute but she was talking about those and I was thinking today about some great pairings that I've seen and teachers in my district are loving stick, uh, stick together too so these were just three cute ones that I just sort of wanted to display on there Llama Llama Red Pajama, everybody knows that we've got a lot of the Llama Llama books in Novel Effect, but that was one that I pulled out and look, Stick Together has a, a llama poster. It's such a cute pairing if you can read that book and then you give the kids, the kids often will call it a mystery picture, um, so they don't know what's coming, but they've sort of started to guess that maybe the poster that they're making has something to do with the book that they've been reading. And so there's another pairing with Please Mr. Panda and the, and the you know, the Panda Stick Together and these are the actual Stick Together with the little sticker labels and of course you know the beloved gingerbread babies or any of the gingerbread books that you have go so great with that gingerbread house I actually my librarian right now I gifted her a stick together poster and she's got it in the back of the library and they're finishing up this beautiful one it's one of my favorites the one with the snow globe on it gorgeous so that's just another one that's been a favorite too but let me tell you about teacher Tom so teacher Tom is a teacher in my district and as a tech coach you know I go around and I help all the teachers and Tom he's a kindergarten teacher and he's got the most loving soul and the most quiet manner and he's just so so fantastic with the children he He's been a long time novel effect fan. He's the guy who spreads the word throughout his school. He can't get teachers excited about it enough. He's just really an advocate. He, he constantly is sending novel effect suggestions for new books that they just have to add. He's been an aficionado and, and an advocate for a long time. But once a month or so, maybe a little bit more, I send out a letter, a newsletter to all of my teachers with tips, ticks, tricks, tools, tidbits, all about ed tech. And I'll usually put about four or five maybe six cool new things in each one. And I always say, you know, it's like those little sticker things where you rip off, just take what you need. And I've got little bullets. Well, in my last one that I sent out, I sent out some things about stick together. Again, I hit, I do it probably once a year. And, you know, Tom is one of those teachers. He'll call me and he asked me to come over and he says, God, I'm, I'm kindergarten. Are my kids going to be able to do this? And so I showed him a sample of the actual sticker board, a, a physical one. And I said, yes. And he said, oh, I'm so in love with this for two things, Kath, two things. My students are going to love this as a center to go over. And I have kids who still don't need the letter recognition practice. So they'll see the letter H and know that that's pink and just that color identification and letter identification. I love it for kindergarten, but also fine motor skills because I want my kids to get really precise about being able to put that sticker in the right place and feel a sense of pride that they got it in the right spot. So I just, I loved that this is where Tom took it because it wasn't a thought I was having as a tech coach, but that's his kindergarten teacher brain and he loved it. So here's what he's been, oh, and then, then I showed him the digital, the virtual sticker boards and teacher Tom 
At first he thought, oh my goodness, this is going to be so small and on their iPads it's going to be too little for them, but no, no, no. Um, even old people like me who need glasses use the zoom feature on those sticker boards and it will enlarge to a certain area and once I showed him that, he was hooked. So I showed him how he create virtual sticker boards for his students for free and tie them to so many novel effect books and then he could share a QR code with the students which they could scan with their iPads super easy and it just took a second to come up on their iPads and of course as you can see from the story there he he takes it even one step further he's like oh my goodness I've read this book you know we did the discussion I'm now gonna let them access this he turns off the lights in his classroom on goes the calming music or the spa music whatever you want to call it and they're, they've read a novel effect book and now they've got some kind of a mystery picture and they know it's tied to the book that they just read and heard and their their little brains are trying to figure out what the connection is and Tom is like just an expert at pairing these and I just love I think this is the perfect the perfect combination this is why these two work so well he lets the kids sit in their seats if they want to in the bean bags on the rugs a lot of them lay on under the tables with the ipads kind of above their heads and they're you know clicking and they're filling in those little squares and they're all working on a picture collaboratively so there's the teamwork element of it too i just think that's the perfect the perfect extension activity story companion brain break i just love everything about that story i hope you do too Oh, and a lot of people, I, I don't know, I haven't been watching the chat as diligently as I should, but a lot of people say, hey, what about Novel Effect? This is awesome. We need this. Is it, is it free? It is free to try. So go ahead and download the app right now if you haven't already. It's free to try for everyone. You will get five free books a month to read. And so when you get in the app, you'll see um, all the books you can access. You'll notice a few of them have a little lock on them. There are some titles in there that will be locked, but don't worry, you can try it. You can try it tonight with your family, your children, or tomorrow in school absolutely try it for free you should be able to try everything for free so after that if you're interested in subscribing to the premium account which just basically opens all 1200 plus books for you um, those are all in there a teacher for one year is you get the special educator discount price so it comes out to $39 a year and that's access, full access to all of the books all of the activity plans which we'll show you in just a second they're all online but I want you to look at that orange row that's right there. That's my favorite one because, because teachers, because uh, and educators, look at that middle one where it says $4.99 a year. That's what we have in my schools. So $4.99 a year covers every teacher in the school every teacher in the school. So if you have more than, uh, I don't know how many teachers, I figured it out at some point, totally makes sense. So you get your admin to pay for it, or your school librarian might have budget for it, or it's also available through Scholastic Bucks. So a lot of librarians, Shannon's nodding, a lot of librarians are using those Scholastic dollars to pay for a subscription and getting it for all the teachers in the whole school. I think I'm allowed to say this on this webinar that prices are going up on April 1st. So it's March, what was it, 21st or something. So there's not a lot of time left to lock that price in. If you can talk an admin or something in your district into, hey, let's subscribe now before this price jumps up. It's at $4.99 a year. It's just insane deal for every teacher in the school to have it. So on the night, next slide, if you screenshot this, this is how you do it. <laughs> or at least these are the tips that I've found to be ex uh, really successful. This is how to get your admin to buy in. Get them to come into your room, hide. Uh, I, I read with a Bluetooth speaker just to bring out that sound a little bit more. Do this, get a Bluetooth speaker, hide it where your principal, your admin doesn't know it's there. Hand them a book and just let them think they're gonna sit and read a book with nothing. Don't tell them about novel effect. Have them start reading. The surprise on their face, it'll be hysterical. The kids, the kids can't believe the surprise on the admin's face and you've got a principal or a headmaster giggling through the whole thing. And once they do that, they're sold. They're gonna be like, where do we sign up? Let's get it for everyone. And there are a couple of other tips on there. You know, reading it at a faculty meeting, reading it at, an, at a whole school assembly. I had a principal do that once at a fifth grade moving up ceremony with oh the places you'll go for the fifth graders and oh my gosh it was cinematic it was dramatic there wasn't a dry eye in the house everybody fell in love with it and novel effect was just it was honestly it was making it more magical than it's ever been so those are a couple of my pro tips for getting your admin to buy in and buy it for you uh next slide Okay, this one, this is this is so much of what Shannon was referencing and talking about. So you know what the app can do, right? The app on the phone explained it. Like I said, there's no professional development needed. It does what it does, and it does it perfectly every time. 
but on the website, NovelEffect.com, you'll see, and this is my favorite tab, if you scroll across those tabs, at the top there's one called Resources, and there's a bunch of goodies in there that not everybody knows. So help us spread the word that if you go to the website, you'll see um, our Soundscape Library. That's the top one in that drop down you're seeing. Click there and you will see a Google Sheet of every title that we have in Novel Effect. So they're alphabetical in there. If you're somebody who wants to look and see what all the titles are, go in there. I don't recommend printing it because it's updated once or twice a week with all the new titles that we're adding. So it's a living document and it will constantly be updated for you. The second one down is where the magic is. And Shannon was just talking about book activities. We have book activities. They are comprehensive, beautiful, standards aligned, amazingly created, uh, differentiated for kids from preschool through at least fifth grade activity packets to go along with so many of our books. Not all of them yet, but we're working on it. Um, and when you go in there and you'll find, let's say you did one for, I don't know if we have one for this book here, but when you find that activity pack and you click download activity pack, it's going to open a PDF that is anywhere from like 30 to 55 pages long of activities that go along with that book. So there's all your extension activities. We're talking ELA things, math things, uh, some craftivities. She calls the girl who makes them as Catherine. She's amazing. And she calls them craftivities. There's all kinds of, like I said, standards aligned, awesome worksheets, but not just worksheets. Sometimes there's links to games or websites or videos. There are craft things, there are cut and do's, um, all kinds of different things. Those are in the book activities. Also, if you look right there, there's a link to our webinars. So if you want to find watch any of the past webinars or if you want to sign up for a future Novel Effect webinars, there's all kinds of good things there on the website on that resources tab. Go in there and check it out. There's more goodies there for you too. Oh, and that's just another slide that shows book activities. If you go to NovelEffect.com, click on resources, click on book activities, that's where it'll go. Hey, everybody, recently last month, we made a big announcement at FETC and TCEA. Our friend Leslie Fisher announced this on a big stage. Novel Effect finally at the request of millions, is available on Chromebook too. So it's always been available on iOS. Um, I, ha I keep it on my phone uh, because I like to have it with me even when I'm outside of school. Some teachers will put it on their iPads. It's available on um, Android devices and it always has been, but now it's available on Chromebooks too. And I'll tell you, I was on a meeting yesterday and where it is, we're coming out with a web version. Oh. I think within a year, I'm going to say it's less than a year. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, do tell everybody. It's coming. It's coming soon. So Chromebook now, web version soon. And next slide. That's exciting news. Oh, here we are. It's another. Okay, so this is another time. We're going to put a... Um, there's a bit.ly at the bottom of the screen. We ask for feedback at Novel Effect. We always want to know, what are we doing well? What do you want more of? What, how could we improve? It's a really short feedback form, and it's a bit.ly. It's bit.ly slash feedback form for you. If you go to that now, take a screenshot if you don't have time now, go to that and fill out that feedback form. It will automatically generate that certificate. See, Brianna, I made one for you. <laughs> It will automatically generate that PD certificate from Novel Effect and Stick Together that shows that you've attended this one hour webinar with us, that you learned a lot, that you had a lot of fun, and that you get one hour of credit for that. So again, it's, um, I think my friend Novel Effect Haley is going to drop that in the chat so that you've got the clickable link right there, but it's just bit.ly slash feedback for, oh, with capital F, capital F, and then for you at the end of it. So that'll get you that certificate. And if you do that, uh, we actually are going to pick two winners from anybody who submits those. See, for this one, you had to have attended the webinar live today. If you did and you fill out that feedback form uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be picking two people who have filled out the feedback form just randomly uh, to be winners of, yep, two more Novel Effect Premium subs one year subscription. So that's another chance to be a winner. And I'll start by saying from all of us at Novel Effect, my friends who are in the chat and for everybody who's able to join and for my friends that stick together, we want to say thank you so much. I want to thank 
Oh my gosh. I want to thank Shannon so much. I want to thank Brianna. I want to thank Sylvia because she's the CEO of uh, Stick Together and I, I'm pretty sure she's here watching too. So Sylvia, thank you. Thank you for this partnership and for being friends with Novel Effect. I know that we're a great team and a great partnership. And mostly I want to thank all of you who took the time to join us and uh, share in the chat and, and share your ideas and learn things and just to be great educators who care this much about spending time to make your classrooms, your libraries, and your educational spaces better. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Yeah, thank you. And that can, oh, and our contact information, our emails are at the bottom of the screen. Hope you can join us next month at Novel Effect. We're having another webinar, especially all about those book activities. I'll have the girl who makes them. Her name's Catherine Coyle. She's incredible. Uh, she's going to be joining us and a lot of people who love the activities. So we'll talk more about those book activities next month. If you're free, um, we'd love to see you. You know where to register. Thanks so much again for joining us, everybody. Have a great night. Thanks, Kathy. Thank, Thank you. you.